right, this is part two of the video that we were watching or that I sent out. Um, they're going to jump into how to use number lines to find equivalent fractions. So let's get to it. Check out this number line. We label zero and one on the number line to represent one whole. Then we divide the whole into two equal parts to show the fraction one half. Right. This is just like when we folded our strip of paper for the first time. I got you. We can keep going and divide the whole into four equal parts mm -hmm. to show that one half is equal to two fourths. You got it, boss. And let's take it a step further, like we did with the paper. Let's divide each of these parts into two equal parts again to make eighths. What is another fraction that names the same amount as one half and two fourths? So, what is another fraction that names the same amount as one half, right, and two fourths? We said how many equal parts now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And half, oh, sorry. <laughs> and half of the eight is one, two, three, four, right? Sweet. Here are all the eighths. This number line shows how one half and four eighths name the same number, so they are equivalent fractions. There we go. Coolio! Folding our picture and using the number line showed us something pretty cool. I'm going to pause it right there. I know this is in the way, but equivalent fractions always end up on the same spot in a number line. Four eighths is right above one half and right above two fourths. That means they are equal. Notice they are always equal, just the sizes change. One half, two fourths, and four eighths are all equivalent fractions. Correct. Yay! Looks like we have another request from a viewer. Ray writes in, Great show, guys! I'm your number one fan. Think you could make us a cake for Edward's party? Chocolate frosting, please. Yeah, I can handle that. But I have a feeling it can't be that easy. Yep, just like I thought. Alex writes, Wait, Ray, Daryl, and I love chocolate, but Edward likes vanilla better. Sweet, boss! Sounds like it's time to make a killer chanilla cake. Part chocolate, part vanilla. Honestly, this is making me so hungry. Look, I took one of our famous cakes and divided it into four equal parts. I used vanilla frosting on one part and chocolate frosting on the other three. So one-fourth of the cake has vanilla frosting. Hey, look. Daryl's changing the request. His message says, Is it too late to update our order? This party's going to the birds. More of Edbird's feathered friends are coming. Three of them want chocolate frosting, and one wants vanilla. No worries. We can still use the same amount of cake, but now we need eight equal pieces. Can you help? How can you cut the cake into eight equal pieces? Use the arrows to choose where to cut. Then, click Done. Right? Do we want to cut up and down to make eight, or do we want to cut a different way? Well, they're only giving me one option. What is this? What do we cut? Is this equal to this part? No. If, if I was eating cake and somebody gave me this piece and somebody else gave me this piece, that would not be fair. So let's move it up a little bit more. Does that look equal? I think that looks pretty equal. And now it makes eight, right? One, two, three, four. Four plus four more is eight. Yippers! By slicing the cake right through the middle, we double the number of pieces we have, and they're all the same size. So we go from having four equal pieces to eight equal pieces. Now we can find another name for one-fourth. Awesome. What is another fraction that tells what part of the cake has vanilla frosting? Hmm, what part has vanilla frosting? Vanilla frosting. Well, how many parts are there total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many parts have vanilla? Two. Right? One, two. 
totally one-fourth and two-eighths name the same amount of cake. They are equivalent fractions. Right? Now let's look at the chocolate part of our Killa Chanilla cake. Remember, we started out with four equal parts. Now, we've cut the cake into eight equal parts. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet, huh? When you look at the cake, you can see fourths and eighths. <laughs> Write two fractions that name the part of the cake that has chocolate frosting. Then click done. Okay, so first we pretend this line is not here. We had this and this, right? Now it was four pieces. How many were chocolate? Hmm. You've got to think, right? How many were chocolate? Three, right? One, two, and three. And now there's eight. How many pieces are chocolate? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Yes. That means three-fourths is equivalent to six-eighths. Awesome work, guys. We're going to continue for a little bit. Uh, finished with our Killa Chonilla cake. Ready for Edbert's party. Hey, looks like Edbert likes the cake. Nice. Um... How do you know Carl means he likes the cake? More importantly, how is a bird sending a live message? You know what? Never mind. Looks like we've got another message. We're going to pause right there. And this is going to be the end of part two. I hope it helps. Bye, guys.